Hello everyone, let's go and make this beautiful uh, lotion. This is a souffle lotion, a little bit different to normal, but let's go and make it. Now to make this beautiful souffle lotion, what we need to do is we need to get these beautiful ingredients. So behind here, I have already put some things in containers. So in this beautiful one here, we do have some oils in here. We have some BTMS 50 that's going to be our emulsifier as well with acetyl alcohol. And I'll kind of go through that a little bit as we're making it. And then in the second one here, I do have some water here, which has some beautiful water. It has some glycerin, some extra and some aloe vera juice so that's what we're using for our water content so let's just pop this one aside just so we can have a bit of a talk about some things we need so you're going to need some preservatives if you're making um, a lotion you're also going to need some vitamin E this is an amazing product and you'd really it's great for oils and things like that it stops it going rancid and it's just a lovely product now this product here you don't have to have but if you want this gorgeous product this is amazing it is a silicon product there probably are other ones on the market that aren't silicon but I really really love this one I think it's called um, pronounced dimethicone it's really really good and it just leaves that silky beautifulness um, to everything we've got some rosehip uh, oil here which is a beautiful oil um, it's known to have lots of beautiful benefits with that. Of course, I won't go into that because I'm not a chemist. And we're going to have some jojoba oil, of course. We definitely need that. This absolutely beautiful fractionated coconut oil from Craft360. We'll be using that. Of course, I did just talk about this. Um, this is aloe vera juice. You can get it from your local shopping center. So that one's really easy to get. Behind me, some glycerin. And now this is one of the stars, everybody. So this particular product, and um, I've got this from Aussie Soap Supplies. This is B3. Um, so I'm not going to try and pronounce it, nacidamide, maybe, maybe that's how you pronounce it. I said I wasn't going to, but I did. Of course, the BTMS 50, settle, um, alcohol, we're using that. So now we've got everything organized, don't we? Of course, we're going to have some fragrance and some other things, but I've already done that to the side. So let's get going. The next thing, I'm going to pop all of these away. And now what we're going to do is we are going to be putting our oil, um, which is in one jug, and the water base in the other jug. And we're going to put that in a double boil on the stove, melt it all down, make it beautiful. And um, then I'm going to bring you back to show you how we're going to make this beautiful souffle lotion. So this is not a normal lotion. Uh, you know, you'll see lots of lotions on, but this is really airy. It's um, very light. Uh, it's just beautiful. It's almost a little transparent because it is very, very light. No butters in this one at all. So um, let's get going and let's make this gorgeous, uh, you know, souffle lotion. So here we are, everyone. This is on the stove. Now you can see it's sitting in its double boil. And uh, I know it looks bright yellow, but it's not. It's actually um, the oils, I think, that's making everything look yellow. But that is the BTMS um, 50 in there, the settle alcohol. That's what the beads kind of look like, along with the other oils that we're choosing to use. And now I haven't just used any oil for any reason. Each oil has been selected for its properties and what it's going to bring uh, to the lotion. So this one's on here. Now let's check out the other one. So in here, this is basically our water. Now, can you see that little white in there? That is actually um, the B3, uh, so which is the uh, nacidamide. I did say earlier, didn't know that I can't pronounce that. So. Anyway, we're just giving it a mix. Now, also make sure you don't um, mix it with one and then put it in the oil because it will start to make lotion in it. So keep a separate one for each one. And um, we're just going to let this do its thing, get nice and warm, everything melt down, and I'll bring you back. 
Now, while that's on the stove, I just wanted to show you this. So we have sanitized everything here. I've got the bottles ready. I have the fragrance and the preservative sitting in that small container, the whip, and of course, um, the stick blender because we need both of those this time. So let's get going. We're going to make sure everything's melted down. I'll bring you back um, when it's all ready and we can actually make some beautiful lotion. Well, we are back everyone. So you can see that everything is melted down. I will take my little kebab stick out. So now usually what you would do is pour the oil into the water, but you can imagine the oil, uh, if I start putting that in the water, it's gonna get stuck to the sides and all crazy. So you can do it the other way around. There's really no right or wrong, um, you know, as long as it goes in and it creates to be a lotion. So now inside here, I have my water. The water and the oil are a very similar temperature and that's what we want. So we're just gonna give this another little mix. And like I said, we're literally going to pour this in. Now, the one thing too, is if you're making body butters or something, pretty much straight away, you'll see it start to turn to lotion. Well, this one is quite different because it is a really, really light um, recipe. So. Uh, and, you know, it's mostly water, like the high percentage of this is water and extracts. So we've got our little blender. Let's just blend it up. Now, can you see how it turned white straight away? That's basically lotion. And with this, the whole idea of it is if you were making a lotion, you would keep you know, doing this quite some time, you would come back and forward. The whole idea of this is we're literally only going to do this for about 30 seconds, then we're going to stop and then we're going to keep coming back and forward and mixing it by hand with the um, spatula and then we are going to whip it up um, with the whip. So I'm going to just blend this a little bit more and then I'm going to bring you back when, you know, I'm doing all the next steps and show you. Now, one thing I didn't show, but I wanted to show you is we've just got this sitting here. That's nothing. But now if I show you, um, let me take this out actually just for a moment. Now, if I show you this, it looks just like water. Can you see how it looks just like water? Don't worry about that. I promise you it's going to get thicker. I know, you know, you may sort of make this and go, oh no, it's so, it's so light. But really a lotion or a souffle is really not going to show you its true consistency until about 24 to 48 hours later. Because even once it's done, it's going to keep thickening up a little bit and it's going to be really, really light. I've already made another one, which I will show you um, the other one. So let's just leave that. So basically every 10 minutes, I'm going to come back, you know, and just literally give it a little mix. That's simply all I'm going to do. Now in my container, I did do a testing one yesterday. So this is my one here. Now, if I can show you how it's quite loose, but yet it still sticks on there, if you can kind of see that. Um, and it's a really, really light, I hope you can see it's almost a little bit transparent because it's so light, but it feels really airy and beautiful. It is not like a normal lotion. It really does feel really just darling. It just feels so lovely. So um, that's what it's going to be. This is my own one that I've already made. Now, if you want to put a color in, you could definitely put a color in now, but generally I don't really put colors in um, my ones. I just, I just don't, but I mean, you can, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, you definitely can. And I can already see it's starting to try and turn into lotion on the edges because the edges have the little bit of cream. If you can kind of see a little bit to the edge. And like I said, it's going to be really light and just beautiful. And the th good thing with this is when you actually put this on your skin, it's going to sink straight in. It won't sit on the top and feel really greasy like a lot of lotions or body butters do. Definitely won't feel that. It will feel really light and airy and um, it's just beautiful. Now, I know I'm going to have a lot of you asking me questions about can you substitute ingredients in this for something else? Look, you can, but I honestly suggest you don't. Um, with If you don't want to use the silicon base, you can just swap that for olive squalene, but I do have olive squalene in this as well. 
um, which is just beautiful because the olive squalene I've actually got in the um, cool down phase, which we're going to do when this cools down because at the moment it's a little bit hot. And usually I add that in with my fragrance or anything else. And also you don't need to add a fragrance. If you don't want to, you don't have to add a fragrance at all. So don't worry about that. All right, friends, it is ready. Now, if you can kind of see how beautiful this is looking, it is still warm, uh, but it is definitely going to thicken up. And this is a great one to get into a bottle because it is much easier to get into a bottle. So now it is still warm, but it's not too warm. It's just, it's just getting beautiful. So we can definitely add in our fragrance. So today I'm going to be doing cashmere into this one. Um, so let's just pop in cashmere and, um, and of course I'll put it in a small jar. So I need to get a, I need to get something just to get that out. Now, do you remember each time that you get something, um, you know, like a spatula or something, you have to go and sanitize it, which I had to do for this one. So, um, it's very important to always remember that you need to sanitize everything. Otherwise you can get germs and um, bacteria or whatever into these things. So we have got everything out of there and now we're just going to give it a mix. We wanna give it a bit of a good mix, but we are going to whip this up in a minute. So the whole idea with doing this particular thing that we're doing today, um, which is our souffle lotion, we want to now get you know our whisk. So we've just got a whisk here and this is going to be attached to my stick blender. This is a part of the brawn that it comes like this. And then we're going to whip it up because this is going to aerate it. It's going to make it beautiful and to create that gorgeous souffle. right it is looking beautiful you can uh mix this more if you like but i've already made my recipe super duper light so now what i'm going to do is we're going to make sure this is all beautiful i will make sure it's mixed super duper well and then we are going to go and pop it in the bottles now so we have our bottle sitting here everyone don't we so now we're just going to tear it uh and so I just want to actually, like, let's just tear the scale first. Let me fix my scale. All right, so we've torn it back to nothing. Now we are going to just make sure it's the right amount. So in here I have 250 grams. If you can kind of see in the bottle, you'll be able to see that in there. Now, I don't put the lids on. We're going to leave them sit here for another couple hours um, with the lids off just to make sure that there is going to be no condensation in it. So I'm going to measure all these up. We're going to make the labels next, um, put the pumps in, but we need to make sure that we sanitize everything and then I'll bring you back. I have finally finished making it everyone here they are sitting on the shelf ready to go out to their new homes they are totally ready i hope you have enjoyed the video and i'm going to see you on the next one bye friends